Hi everybody. Uh, it's time for a new pattern. Go to, oops, my phone turned on me. Hang on a second. There we go. Go to pattern-collections.com. I'm waiting for my phone to catch up. Here we go. Scroll down to the pattern focus to find today's pattern. And you will go to today, which is, let's see, we did that one, that one, that one, this one. This is the one we're looking for. Oh, look, we have a grid pattern. Cool. Okay, a Amalia by Chrissy Frampton. It's an older pattern. It was done in 2013. So it looks like step one is going to be to, you know, have your square grid and inside your square grid, you're going to uh, do your angles this way. So one going this way, this way, this way, this way. And then we're going to take windmill fashion and go from this corner to the, the diagonal across this way and all the way around. And then fill it in. And then on these corners, the big, the big triangle that's left, we're going to fill in with stripe like that. So this is our end product. And there it is with just plain and with a little bit of shading. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the plain and the shading, but there is the step out. Alrighty, let me get the light on so I can see what I'm doing. My pen. I've already drawn my string on there just lightly. I'm probably I may not use it for this particular pattern. I may not use the string only because you know grids are hard to fit in there. I mean give me Give me a thought process here for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and draw my border. Like that. I'm not happy with this pen. I don't know why I'm not happy with this pen, but I'm not. I think I'm just going to draw this part. Like that. I'm going to put my grid in here. So let me get my eraser and erase. Erase this. So you don't have to use all of your string. When you use a string, you can just use part of it. It's just a, it's just a guide. It's not set in stone. Okay. So I'm going to, I want, ugh, my squeaky table. I'm not happy with my squeaky table. I'm really not that happy with this pen. Seems like I've been using not microns for so long that when I grab my micron, I'm, I'm less happy with it. That's weird, because I used to just love these microns. do that for our grid right yeah that works okay so in this four square that's where I'm gonna start I'm going to do that and that and that and that okay and then I want to do from the middle to the corner, middle to the corner, middle to the corner, and middle to the corner. Just make sure you go all the way around going 
so that every time you turn it, it's all going the same direction. And that will give you that sort of windmill look. And then it's got us coloring in this middle part. I think I'm going to wait on that just a moment. Um, if I want to color it in, I'm going to use my bigger pen. If I decide I don't want to color it in, which I might decide that. I'm going to do these stripes though. Yeah, I'm not happy with this pen. Wonder if I've grabbed an older one that's not completely full of ink. It's a little dry. Don't really know. Just seems to be skipping. I see little skipping spots. I'm not happy with that. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's do this one into the corner. I neglected to make sure the air conditioning was on, which was a, probably a mistake. Somebody on my YouTube channel made mention of how they live in Florida and it's really not as hot as here, but super humid. I don't, I definitely could not handle the super humid. I've lived in California my whole life and it's very dry here most of the time. And when we do get the summer humidity, ugh, I'm just miserable. Even though I think the temperature is probably okay here in the house, it's probably not that hot. Um, but it's another humid day and the humidity is just not my friend. Now you will notice I'm not being super good with my spacing here. I'm a little way off here. If I want to, I could add another one in there to fill that space up to kind of visually fill it. Same thing here. I kind of got a little off. So I could just go back and fill in. This one is not as, doesn't have as many lines as the rest of them. It's all right. You know, do what you need to do to make it the way you want it to be. Okay, so here is going to be this one. Like that. And then in here. I'm thinking about what I want to do over there. And I'm wondering if I want to add a completely different tangle, different pattern, or if I want to do the same pattern just in a different scale. I think that might be what I'm going to do. I'm 
be that way, and this goes this way. This one is this way, right? Yes. When things are hidden behind, it sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out. Oops. Where the design goes behind. Just trying to remember. This way, this way, this way. This one goes this way. That, that, that. This one goes this way. Then this one will go this way. And this one will go this way. Right? Right? For me, it's harder when it's only one row than a whole square. So I'm just figuring out where it needs to go stripey here. So that goes up there. And then it needs to be stripey here. So this goes this way. And then this one will go stripey here. So this goes this way. And this one goes this way. So you could do this as a ribbon. You just have to pay attention to which direction things are going. Maybe I'll do that over here, like a ribbon. That's a good thought. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, with my pencil, I'm going to draw. I'm gonna pretend that this is a big ribbon one. It's gonna go all the way to here. So it's gonna have a square that's like that and like that. Maybe like that, a little bit over. That's why I want to do it in pencil. So I'm going to do one with a line this way, and then a line this way, and then a line this way. And then it's going to go up into the corner here. Right? Just thinking, give me a moment. That that's that way. Like this. Then this is this way. Like this. Okay, so then that would go this way. And this one would go this way. Okay. Just drawing them big because then I can see what I would and wouldn't see. This is where 
I'll go here. here. I'm going to see that line, that line, that line. You're going to see that line. You're going to see this line and that line. And then you'll see stripes going this way. see stripes here okay I'm not visualizing that well again I've lost I've lost my visual reference it's the same angle as this so that stripe Oh, yes, it should go this way. So that's this one, this is this one. I knew something didn't look right when I had it in my head. You actually see this goes this way. As if it's going this way, if this is this one, then this is this one. Yes, that makes more sense and if this is this one then this is this one okay I knew something didn't look right but I couldn't work out what it was that's what it is those go that way and my little stripes go this direction that's better You guys this day is going well I had a big task at work yesterday didn't quite get it finished because I didn't work a full eight-hour shift I was only there five hours and it really was an eight-hour task but I got some of it done I got the bulk of it done it was a, a planogram I've described that to you before where I'm rearranging things. Um, it was the eye care section. Uh, and it had three four foot sections to do. And I got two of them done. So I got eight feet completed, which is good. Especially when there's a lot of movement. When there's not a lot of things moving around and you don't have to take everything off of every shelf. It doesn't take as long, but this one... Oops, sorry. Forgot that that lamp was there. Um, yeah, this one was hard. Lots and lots of movement. Okay, so now I'm thinking, do I want to, what do I want to do with my, with these? You really don't see that whole windmill thing. It's kind of disappeared. So I think you do need the black. So I'm just going to get out my bigger pen so that I don't spend all day coloring. I'm just going to color those in. Maybe, do I want... Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna color them in. A couple of days ago, I had somebody on my YouTube channel talk about maybe I need to make more decisions, a few decisions off screen of what I want to do so that I don't have this thinking time. Um, and 
it might be a valid point if I was just teaching just the pattern, you know. If I was teaching just the pattern, which is where I started, you know, if you go back to my older, my first few videos, all I did was show the pattern. Like I would have shown this four grid square and that's it. I didn't make full tiles and um, so I didn't have to think about making those kinds of decisions as to what to do on a full tile. But then I started morphing into making full monotangle tiles. And I enjoy showing the whole thought process of, of how I decide, you know, I could have done something different in these triangles and not filled it with black like the step out shows. But I like showing how I, I come to the conclusion that it needed the black. I, I lost this whole windmill look. I really liked that windmill look and I lost it because I didn't have the black. And, um, and I make these decisions on the fly. And you know, I've watched other people draw and then sometimes I say, well, why did they decide that? What did, why did they decide this? And, and when did they make that decision? You know, did they already have a plan? It's good to know that they didn't have a plan when they didn't have a plan, you know? Because as an artist, um, I really, I like to know when I'm watching somebody else, if they came to the, the project with a preconceived idea of what they wanted it to turn out like. Some people do and they say, well, this is what I'm going to do and then they do it. And I suspect that they have practiced elsewhere. You know, they've done small samples or whatever. And that's fine, you know. Um, but then they've, you know, they've worked out what they want to say, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, the steps and the orders that they want to do. They've, they've figured out, oh, no, nope, that doesn't work that way. We need to do it this way. And then they do their tutorial. I feel like what I'm doing is less of a tutorial and more of just you guys watching me draw. And it is what it is. It's 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 how I do my process, you know. Um, I like watching some of the mixed media artists, um, Cindy Utter and. Um, Gina Ahrens, I like watching their processes because most of the time they don't have any pre-planned ideas of what they're going to do. Sometimes they do, Gina, especially Gina. Gina, she's got, she's quite the designer. Um, but like, like Cindy, when she does her pick tens, which is that she, and that it's kind of similar to what we're doing here, except for it's a pick two. Um, my pick two is my string and my pattern. I, I would pick two. I have to use this string and this pattern. Um, it goes this one, this one, this one, this one. So then it would be this one, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, but she will, out of a jar, pick some prompts for her um, mixed media journal. And she'll do them in randomly. And she'll have to do each one 
as she picks them. So she doesn't know what's coming ahead. I find it really fascinating how she works. Let's see, so it's that one, that one, that one, that one, this one. Because she never knows when she makes a, a decision in her journal about this prompt, you know, let's say, say for example, she pulls out um, use purple as, as the first prompt. So she'll put purple on her page, but she doesn't know what the next prompt is going to be. So she just kind of has to go with her gut as to where she wants that purple to go. And then maybe the next prompt is to uh, cover the page in, um, in, you know, stencil with gesso and, and, and so forth and so on. She just adds these, these different elements to her page. And when she's all done, she has 10 different colors or layers or textures that she's picked out of this little bucket. It's, it's really fascinating to watch. I'm, I, I'm having a hard time describing it. If you've ever go to YouTube, go to Cindy Utter and find one of her pick tens and follow that. That that was fun to watch. Okay, so this one needs to be similar. That doesn't have to be the same. Okay, so this one is that one, right? Yes, so it's this triangle that has triangle in it. And I am going to actually leave a bit of a border in these because it's so big. Like that. Okay, so if this one is that one, then this one is this one, so it's this triangle has the dark. And then that same person was saying that sometimes I, I am not, for a chatty video, I take some time to stop and think. Sometimes I'm stopping and thinking. I, I agree. Sometimes I'm stopping and thinking, but a lot of times I'm not even thinking. Sometimes I stop talking because, no, well, right now I'm talking and stop talking because I'm thinking. I need it to be the same over here. Um, but sometimes I get in the zone and I just stop talking. And I know that sometimes I'm in the middle of a thought and I stop talking because I just I get in that Zen zone. And when, when that happens to you, and I don't know if you've experienced it yet, those are of you who are, are um, experienced tanglers or who have, you know, been doing this a little while, you'll know when you get that to that point and you're in the zone, your brain just like has like a switch and everything around you, your environment, your, um, even what you're talking about just kind of goes out the window. Your brain just kind of goes blank. It's, it's a really weird Zen thing that happens. I'm deciding. I want dots. I'm feeling dots here. One, two, three. Why? Haven't got a clue. Just what I feel.
So sometimes I'm thinking and sometimes I do stop talking while I'm thinking because you know what? Depending on how much I have to think, my brain requires sometimes me to stop talking while I think. And I understand that you're just trying to be helpful and make a suggestion, but not sure there's much I can do about when my brain decides to shut up and say, whoops, your mouth, your mouth is just running amok and it needs to stop. Sometimes my brain just turns it off and I don't have any choices. I feel like it needs one more something. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get out my white pen. And my white pen needs a little... need to get it started. Usually I have to do like that. Make sure that my white pen is running before I get going here. And I have to remember not to put my hand in my white pen. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think that's what it needs. Okay. I just need to be careful that I don't. I'm still not super happy with this white pen, but most white pens are, they all seem to have some sort of issue. I just have to remember not to hardly push at all so that I let the, the ink that's in there that's kind of like paint to flow. If I push too hard, then I see the where the ball tip was. It kind of leaves the ink around the edges and not down the middle. So to be very careful not to press too hard. coming from here. And here. Just trying to remember which direction. Okay, I like that. And happy with that happy with that and then I want to put the name of the tangle on here I need to uh, let's see I got to make sure that this dry so I don't smear that white I'm going to make it live live this way. Amalia. Shrine number 45. And a little bit of shading. Now, my question is, is this on top of this, or is this on top of this? I think this is on top of this. Like 
that. And then smudge it with my blending stump. Squeaky tables drive me crazy. One of these years, I'll get my studio and it won't have a squeaky table. Okay, uh. I don't want to shade that. I think I want to do similar to what they did in the. Just going up and down the line, I guess. Okay. That works. Just give it a little something, something. Doesn't need much. Probably could have done without, but. You know, I like my shading. All right, I think that's enough. Well, that one looks like it needs it. This one's telling me it wants shading. Here and here and here. You just gotta listen to your tile when it tells you something. Sometimes it will tell you that you're not done. All right, now I'm done. Am I done? There's my doorbell. Highly likely that it is. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't get my thing set up on my phone for my doorbell thing. All right. I have to do the doorbell setup. Every time I... That's the thing with the new phone. Is, is when you realize... Oh, there's something else I forgot to set up. I didn't set up my doorbell thing, so I can't sit here and see who was at the door, but I'm hazarding a guess that it is the little Amazon guy with my new phone case. Okay, that's better. It needed just a little bit more to define that, push that back, and leave that on top. I like that. Okay, that's better. That's what it needed. Okay, you guys have a really great day. I will uh, do one more drawing today. It's my day off, but I have things I need to do. Unfortunately, it's bill paying day. And there's one I have to go actual to the place to pay the bill because they, they don't take credit cards online. It's a stupid thing. But they don't. And I'm not giving them access to my checking account. That way they want my checking account information and I'm not doing that. So I have to go up and pay the bill directly. <sighs> what a pain. But, okay. Gets me out of the house. I'm going to go to the dollar store. Pick up a couple of things at the dollar store that I need. 
and uh, go pay that bill. So, got one more drawing to get done today, and then I will be done. I will see you guys later. I'm going to go check out what's at the front door, and um, I'll be back. Bye-bye. Have a great day.